So today is the day that I turn this into this. So Tony's on his way now, we should be in the next 10 minutes and then we're going to get the cover on. I've prepared it as much as I can, but I have to say a massive thank you to First Tunnels for supplying the cover, the staging and the doors to give me that poly tunnel that I've always wanted. So thank you so much First Tunnels for that. Let's get this poly tunnel built. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright not quite tight enough. People say cheese to the camera now. All right guys, <laughs> um, we find it's not quite tight enough. We've cut these posts and we put in a new post so that you can do that tension as I said. Yeah. But it's weird how it, it doesn't have one. But um, And it's not going to go anywhere because of the amount of soil. Now if you carry on now, just filling in that soil, trimming the plastic and, and everything else, I think you'll be fine. Cheers Tony. You can feel the heat in you already though. Yeah. There's no doors on it yet. So. Uh, Happy days. What do you think about the black, <laughs> the black frame? Do you want my honest thing or do you want a YouTube? So it's finished. It's up. Well, it's not quite finished. The doors haven't been put on yet. Sure. But I'm going to do that today. I also, as you've seen, I've just popped back over yesterday. I couldn't stop and I'm aching all over. But I put in the raised beds. So the raised beds are done. And yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to fill these beds. But I am I know I need to put these doors on because the weather is going to change very, very soon. Right, let's get these bloody doors on before the weather changes. The sun's actually come out, which I'm glad. It's warming this tunnel up a little bit. I've been freezing the last two days. I'm aching all over the long morning. So get up here about six, seven o'clock, all the way till the evening, just to try and get this done. So I'll be glad when these doors are on. Then it's I got a sealed unit to carry on working inside here. Let's get it done.
So I thought this would be the perfect time to give you a little look around, a nice little plot tour of March. Let me show you what I'm, uh, what I've got going on. So I've got two beds of snow here on the Grapevine Garden. Another four going down here. There's plenty of snow going. I've got two beds of snow here. Um, another two beds of snow here. I've got no snow in the greenhouse and the Millie Poly Tunnel this year. But I also got another four beds of snow here. So I think that's plenty of snow to get me through um, <laughs> the rest of the season. I hope you've enjoyed this tour. So I think you know what I'm going to do now. One thing that I planned ever since I got that log burner. Let's fire it up. What a beautiful sight to wake up to this morning. And I must admit, I've waited about two years for this now to come over and see the plots nice and white and it looks absolutely beautiful. So it's a new day, the snow is still present, but I've popped over and let me just show you the difference between having a polytunnel and outside. So it's stated one degrees outside and 6.1 inside. So it just makes a bit of a difference, about five degrees. All the snow now has come off the top. You know, the sun has melted, all that. But it's still a pretty slushy um, mess outside. So we're still snowed under. So that's going to delay us. I was hoping to get the manure inside today. But yeah, that's not happening. So what I thought I'd do is, and I just want to point out as well, even though it's five degrees warmer in here, this is still not sealed, you know, there's still ventilation coming through both sides. So it just makes a difference. So I thought what I'd do today is, I thought, I thought I'd make the staging. I thought I'd get the staging done because, let me show you what I've done so far. The staging's been fitted temporarily and it's just basically just placed on top. I bought all these new, um, trays they are the grow bag trays but they hold the water really well for all your seedlings and four across the length of the tunnel fits perfectly so i bought eight well i already had two so i bought six sorry so yeah that should be okay and i also got this side which i still need to fill in with the well rotten manure and the compost the potatoes they seem to be doing okay considering i've put them in these cloches and they're sealed up nice and warm. I have brought some fleece over and I think I'm going to wrap it in there as well just in case. So I thought I'd start on the staging and I've seen on a few other YouTubers that they have this like individually rather than having a permanent bed here. I think I'm going to have three different stages that I can lift off and then I can mix and match whatever I want to do. I have got enough for both sides but I'm still tempted just to do one and see how I get on but who knows? You never know what's going to happen with me. So I finished the raised beds and I thought I'll pop in a few lettuces now and I'll direct sow them into the bed. I'm not going to need these beds until you know later on in the season for the, for the tomato plants but I thought I'll put a few in now and then you know even if I have to prick them out later on but I thought let's get some done. So I've made a few drills and I've spaced them out accordingly. I think I'm going to direct sow as well some of my leeks now as well. Now, I don't normally do this, I normally go into little pots and things, but I thought I'll try some in here and then I'll do some in a pot as well and we'll see which is the best. So you might think, oh he's planting quite a lot but some of these will be staying in this area and some will be going down to the grapevine garden as well. So this, so this area now will become the hub for seed growing and the grapevine will become the hub for um, 
harvesting. So there we have it all done. I'm Danny and this is the Grapevine Garden. 